welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys missed me it's been a while right since i've done your reading so i hope meanwhile you've been doing well things been amazing in your life today we're doing your it's not really time specific but i think you can watch this in march april whatever you discover that unless I mentioned specific transits and anyway before we get started don't forget there is a membership community that's new on this channel check it out there is even some tarot classes that i posted in the membership i go live there too so check it out and i just made a new channel which is dedicated exclusively to astrology uh, astrology you know like maybe some spiritual travels different cool stuff so make sure to check it out i'm focusing really on that channel currently i'm not posting this much here so i hope to see you guys there if you're interested in that kind of content if you want to be friends on instagram or other social media wherever i am check out the links down below as well i uh, hope to connect with you and this video is sponsored by my very own astrology course if you want to study astrology whether you are absolute beginner or whether you are someone who is more interested in the sophisticated concepts such as composite charts, transits, progressions, fixed stars, fixed degrees, some pretty rare information that you're not necessarily going to see everywhere because um, I do teach Western system. However, a lot of my knowledge comes from Kabbalistic teachers and also Russian schools of astrology. Basically things that you are not going to see mainstream American or European astrologers necessarily talk about that much so um there is a beginner's course which you can join we start from the absolute scratch i walk you through from the very beginning on how to generate your charts and so on and so forth i'm available to answer your questions as well if you join my course you can interact with me and uh, intermediate course comes with an access to beginner course as well so whichever option you are joining it's going to be um you know whether it's beginner's course, which is you starting from the very scratch, or intermediate course, which includes access to beginner's course. There's a lot to work there with. We have webinars as well. Super cool, super cool. It's more even kind of, you know, uh, as I started teaching last year, in the beginning it had more of like a lecture format, but lately it started becoming a bit more of even a community because, you know, people kind of share their information with me and ask me questions. It's like, it's really cool. Check it out. And anyway, Leos, let's get started. Um, I love my Leos. I recently was on a date with a Leo and my first thoughts were this is either the greatest new beginning or my ultimate end. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of over it though. Um, yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see guys. Leo and Scorpio is a um, dangerous combination. But let's see guys. Let's see my dear Leos. What does the universe wants to tell you? <laughs> let's see. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. You are... Okay, Ten of Pentacles to me, this is financial stability, this is money, this is resources, family, but also thinking long-term. Thinking kind of like, what is your ultimate um, future looking like? Whether we are talking career or we are talking, you know, like long-term relationships. Leos do have Jupiter and Saturn in their seventh house of long-term partnerships, serious partnerships. So there's been questions you've been asking yourself, like, where do I go from there? What I've seen with Leos lately is that you're either, if you're in a relationship with someone who you really see a future with, uh, there is a higher levels of commitment coming. So I've seen engagements, marriage, uh, moving in together for some Leos that I personally consult, especially Leo Risings, but I've seen this all honestly equally for Leo Suns and Moons as well. But there's also this you know energy where you're thinking okay but like what what, what do i want for myself career wise in the future it's kind of like you know i think we all go through that phase in life a little bit where you know we take certain jobs they're not necessarily always like 100 percent what we want to do or we do some projects even when we are self-employed where uh, you know it's just whatever it pays you know kind of thing i'm learning something but then there's always this moment i think it could happen at any age really but sometimes it happens during or after your saturn return or right before that where you actually start asking yourself like what do i want my life to look like long term what will my legacy look like um and i think that's where you are right now where whether we're talking relationships personal life or whether we are talking work you're starting to think what is the legacy that i want to leave behind what is it that i want to build you know that's going to last for generations to come so very very interesting some of you could have virgo placements too um or 10 house activations now which could help give you some Taurus placements as well Let's see what else and leos i also like i'm seeing a child and a dog there is a child hold on 
I don't I don't think there's a child on the way. Maybe something. Um, maybe there's like a child coming into your family soon. Like child on the way. Maybe something about your own childhood as well that's becoming more clear lately. Very interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, card literally jumping out. The magician card here. What you have right now is an ability to manifest the ultimate your your ultimate ideal situation i feel like everywhere both in career or and in a family life you have a lot available to you right now whether we are also talking about material stability financial security i'm getting that the like you know for me the magician the way i usually interpret it is someone who you see here he has pentacles cups swords you know uh, he has a staff here as well, which is wands. So this is four elements of physicality, right? Air, water, earth, fire. But here the magician has already mastered these four elements and he's looking to the ultimate, like as above, so as below, to spirit. He has all the resources and all the things that he needs to manifest his future. Um, and it's like at this point, he's also giving given the divine inspiration it's called the divine inspiration certain idea where he starts seeing what is it he actually wants out of his life what does he want you know long term once again and i'm getting that very very soon you'll be you're going to be given a spark like an inspiration for some new project for something that's going to be really big very important once again i feel like you're over that stage of life where you're just taking certain jobs certain projects now the universe is giving you for some of you there's going to be a partner who is really gonna rocket ship your blessings you know to infinity maybe maybe it's like a husband or a wife who is either you know rich in material resources or talents or some kind of energy i don't know resources that's gonna like help you a lot if it's not husband or wife it could be like just boyfriend girlfriend or some kind of important connection i feel like because once again for leos it's all about your connections right now all about the partnerships that you are in in life how lucky or how unlucky you feel largely depends on the partnerships that you've built so far but it also largely depends on the partnerships you are building now so if let's say like you found yourself in a place where you are kind of you feel like you're kind of behind in life um it's, it's, it's like it's not the end because you are right now actually in the moment, especially this year, while Jupiter is also in Aquarius, where you can really build yourself up, uh, build yourself to go, you know, places, you know, you couldn't possibly go before. So your partnerships are important now. And even if it's not the love partnership, I'm feeling like it's also it could be a business partnership. Like you, you make a connection, you make some kind of connection that's really going to help you go, you know, forward amazing also i'm being, being very drawn to ouroboros here on this magician's uh waist ouroboros could be a symbol you resonate with also year of a snake could be important year of a snake would be what are they like 89 2002 77 something about that snake or dragon even okay okay let's see what else Justice, very interesting. Scorpio's got this in their reading that I just did. Um, it's also all about you know Libra energies here, but it's also something about something is about to ba to get to get balanced. Like I'm getting that there has been some lack of balance in your life, or maybe there has been something that was taken away or you lost something. But I'm getting you know with justice, it's always about a payback. You're getting something that's gonna. I don't want to say compensate because I don't know what exactly this energy is. I'm not very clear about this, but there's something that's going to compensate for the things you've lost. So maybe you had like a bad business deal or a bad investment and, or maybe there was like some partner in business kind of screwed you over or whatever, or bad really, whatever those things were that you lost. I'm getting that once again, this is my card of karmic payback where you're going to get, you know, more than what you've lost. It's going to get rebalanced. Okay, let's see what else. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so physical that Scorpio has got this too. Um, yeah, you could have Scorpio in your charge too, or maybe important Scorpio also in your life somehow. But with the Ace of Pentacles, once again, your opportunities and your resources are endless. You are really are given a moment, like an opportunity right now to start a major new beginning in your life. It could be once again, I feel 
ace of swords at the bottom it could be for a lot of you financial it could be a new relationship to a material new beginning but for many people it's also a final clarity i feel like you've lacked clarity about something for a long time in your life where you've been kind of like back and forth trying to understand why this is happening that way why that is happening that way now i feel like you've let go of all your worries of all your confusion and it's like you got this divine spark divine inspiration divine clarity i don't know if you will and it's like and things are becoming much much better oh my god hierophant hierophant wants to come out too uh, a taurus energy could be uh spiritual growth spiritual differences also as well as religious differences could be here too months of may is important for you um i'm getting that there is going to be for a lot of you honestly this is a marriage even on the way or a serious partnership serious relationship because hierophant next to justice next to ace of pentacles and ten of pentacles this is like something becoming a lot more serious in your life something also becoming much more spiritually aligned as well it's important for you i think also right now to follow the rules like not to say that you cannot rebel against things but there's something here about especially when it comes to your dealings with other people making contracts making creating partnerships with other there's something here where if not let's say going by rules of tradition it's important to honor like higher spiritual law something very spiritual about your relationships so let's see what else <laughs> the emperor wow you guys have a crazy reach today the emperor next to the hierophant um for the ladies especially it could be a person who could also have aries and taurus in their chart could be a person who is a bit stubborn but also has a lot of authority in them like they have this strength in them that would be probably your future husband or your future boyfriend partner you know um king of cups at the bottom however the person also has emotional sensitivity to them they are not just someone who is like very um calculative or like author, 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 authoritarian um i feel like there is going to be some kind of father connection like for the ladies especially you know how there are sometimes you meet someone and like they remind you of your father like or like um like oh, you know yeah that kind of thing um like not in a creepy way but like in in a normal way because there's something here about this person i feel like who you're manifesting to who has a lot of authority to them you know they could have aries taurus in their chart because the emperor and the hierophant and it's just like i feel like as you are also um engaging communicating with this person you're also gaining more authority in your life as well because once again jupiter saturn in the seventh house made a conjunction in december 2020 it's like your partnerships, your relationships are going to be very, very important force in your life for a while. And of course, this is something that I've already spoken about so many times. But, you know, it's even if, let's say, you are finding yourself at a place once again where you haven't manifested that partner or that person yet, you will be able to do so soon. Because once again, Jupiter and Saturn together in your seventh house, especially while, while once again Jupiter is in your seventh house this year, you will meet somebody who is going to be a very, very important person. I feel like, of course, for the most of you, this is going to be about love. But if, let's say, it's not resonating with you, you are not looking for it, or if you're already settled in love, this is going to be important. Maybe figure, friend, business partner, mentor, you know, really important connection that you're gonna make this year and sorry guys my camera was cutting off as i was recording this the next card that i pulled here was queen of pentacles which kind of blows my mind because your reading literally has like so many good cards which i feel like shows that you are the person who has a lot to give in terms of material resources in terms of love or maybe you are meeting a person who has a lot to give in terms of once again resources love care you know like it's it's you know it's an energy where two people have so much to give to each other and to the world where i'm getting like you will soon be like literally in that space where you're like punching yourself i cannot believe like this is real like it's like finally everything makes sense finally you find the peace that i feel like especially you know for leo's leo risings especially but also leo sun and moon uh past few years jupiter and saturn been in, like in your sixth house which is like tough you had so many responsibilities and maybe there were even god forbid for some people like you know there, there were health issues and anxiety and like you know it's been tough and now it's i feel like with jupiter and saturn in aquarius which is a lot stronger position for both planets you're getting you know in that in that like in that energy where it finally becomes balanced 
So Queen of Pentacles, once again, whether it's, you know, for masculine or for feminine energy, you're ha like, you're meeting someone who has same type of, um, I feel like you've met people in the past who were quite takers, maybe, or who didn't really match your energy, I would say. And I'm getting that, like, whether you already met this person or will be meeting them soon, and I'm thinking that it's going to happen pretty much, I would say, before May for a lot of, uh, for a lot of Leos, there's going to be quite an important person that's going to appear in your life. I'm getting that it's just, it's finally gonna, everything finally gonna make sense, basically. Okay, let's take you a Lenormand card. We have, oh my god, we have here, this is the card of masculine energy. So yes, for a lot of you, a significant person is about to enter your life. Uh, in this specific deck, there are like three different masculine, three different feminine, like representative of, you know, different like ethnicity, race. And this one has to do with native, um, you know, with Native Americans. And here he has, right, this um, say, like I think Sage and Palo Santo, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I cannot see really on the picture, but I'm getting like you will also be with a person who really appreciates nature. Um, maybe like is also interested in healing so they are not someone who is just like calculative like they are not someone who just doesn't like believe in spirituality and stuff like that I feel like you're gonna be really quite happy with who you're gonna manifest okay let me see let's take one more card it's too many okay yeah and I'm getting that you know for a lot of you there is also gonna be a big choice that will need to, that you will need to make and funny Scorpio's got the same card where you might have to choose whether to go to take one road or another it has to do maybe with like either moving i'm seeing here one side of the road has this like forestish area and another has mountains it will be like a little bit of maybe you will be moving from the place where you've lived so far um i see also either you or your person could be life path number 11 22 maybe even 33 these are the three major master numbers something about that and i'm getting that also like there is going to be these two roads that you will be choosing to take one will be something that's going to be harder like something that you might not see like how to actually go around them it might be like a very ambitious goal some goal maybe or just go into a place where you've never been before something like that because mountain represents obstacles however i feel like you will also reach a much higher peak um, by go choosing the path that's a bit more difficult and another path will have to do with either you know going a bit easier road or just kind of like going a little bit more with the flow i don't want to say that it's not necessarily the right direction um, but I'm almost getting like it's time for you to go places where you've never been before and take a bit more of a risk or if you have to choose between two that's what I would personally suggest that you choose all right guys let's take you also another oracle card I love your reading today I definitely feel like love is all around you something amazing coming up for you it's so beautiful my god <laughs> milk and honey like you know here you know there is this little elephant that's getting you know like I don't know you don't get baptized i think like this i'm not sure how it works in christianity but um the milk and honey and there is this little baby elephant we have their rainbow here which is a promise that things you know will be good no matter how much rain you know how much darkness you've seen there is going to be this bright new beginning this rainbow after rain milk and honey of course also i don't know maybe you are jewish or somebody you're connecting with could be jewish to um number 51 is important number six is important you could also be life path number one five or six um but it's like you know milk and honey is blessings it's like when you know there is just blessings everywhere there's so much to celebrate there is just so much like you are manifesting right now your ultimate ideal life like you sooner are gonna be once again in a place where all the darkness if there has been darkness in the previous years is gonna make total sense and you're gonna be in a place where you're just like you know this feeling like it gives me happy end you know <laughs> something like that so anyway ladies i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the ring button don't forget to check out my new astrology channel because that's where i'm mainly focused right now at the moment 
uh, check out my astrology courses all the links down below and uh, i'll see you guys for those who are joining the extended the extended is going to be down below in the extended we're going to see more about who is this you are connecting with what is this person how they feel about you what's coming how you can better protect your blessings and manifest even more amazing abundance thank you guys so much we'll talk soon bye